Okay, uh, Derek and Ryan, what I wanted to do in this short video is go over your new website with you, show you how easy it is to edit the products and the pages of your website. This is the home page, and um, I've already sent you the logins to your back panel, uh, your username and password, and with that you'll be able to edit all of the pages of your website. Now your website is made of primarily pages, Pages are, for example, the About Garage Champs page, and it's also made up of products such as your t-shirts. And both of these can be managed through the back panel. Like I mentioned uh, earlier in our conversations, <clears throat> I would be taking uh, the WordPress CMS, the WordPress back panel, and adapting it for your website because it gives you a very easy interface. Uh, to manage all of these details such as your products, your pictures, your size charts, uh, excuse me, size selections. So let's go ahead and log in. I've already emailed you your username and password so you simply enter that in and once logged in you'll be presented with uh, a selection. This is your dashboard and I've set up your website um, as either products or pages. So all you do, for example, if you want to edit uh, the page about Garage Champs, this page right here that gives uh, uh, you an opportunity to go over a little bit about your company. If you want to edit this page, all you do is go to All Pages. And when you're in All Pages, you select the page you want to edit. Right now you have two pages. You have About Garage Champs and you have the contact us page. So these are the two pages that you can edit. You can also add new pages as well. So you can add additional pages to your website. So you have your contact us and about Garage Champs page for now. Simply click on the page you want to edit. So we'll use about Garage Champs. And if you've ever used a word processor such as Microsoft Office or Word, uh, you'll notice that the interface is really very, it should be very familiar to you. A uh, couple of key notes, you want to always make sure you're in the visual tab and then you always want to make sure there's two rows of icons. If there's only one row like this, make sure you click this button here and the second row will drop down. Now from here, all you do is simply edit the content. You can even insert images if you want to insert pictures and just think of this very similar to a word processor if you want to create a letter or flyer you can add new text you can make uh, you can make text bold you can change the color uh, you can make text large like this I mean there's all sorts of things that you can do and you can simply go ahead and create your content uh, you want to not really do any changes with this area here. Uh, try to leave this area alone. It could throw off the framework of the site. So don't worry about these options. Just leave them as they are. Uh, once you've created your content here, you can click Update. And as soon as you get confirmation that the page has been saved, you can actually go to that page to your website and you'll see the changes live. So you'll see this right here, this is what we currently did. So as you can see, it's very simple. You can edit the content of your website and um, click update and it will automatically save. Now let's say for example you want to add a new page. Simply go to add new and put your page title, put the content of your page here, click publish and as soon as you click publish the page will automatically appear on your website. There will be a link to it right on top. So I've set up the website to basically take any additional pages that you create and automatically add a link to it right here and that way all you have to do is create the content in your back end and it will automatically appear live on the website. Very very easy. Now that we've gone over how to edit and add new pages, let's go over um, how to edit and add products. It's uh, very simple. Let's just pick a product at random. We will do sweet music. And let's say that you want to edit the sweet music 
uh, products. Now this is the product page you'll notice. Um, you can click on the magnifying glass you'll get a larger picture of the uh, t-shirt. Any additional pictures can go underneath and you can manage all of this through the back panel. So for example the picture of what the screen print is can go underneath. If you had a different view of the t-shirt such as what it, what it has on the back that could go right here. You have uh, buttons here such as email to a friend. Uh, you can print this page. You can share it on social networks. So, um, you know, if somebody wants to send this to a friend or email it to somebody, they can. You can select the size of the shirt and add it to your cart. Now, let's say we want to change this product. You simply go to Manage Products. And what you want to do. We'll give it just a little bit to load. What you want to do when you click on Manage Products is just find the product in this list. These, the, these are all of the products on your website. You can either put the name of the product, such as Sweet Music, in here and search for it. Or you can click Title and it will arrange by alphabetical order. Now. Um, Disregard here that it says posts because this is the WordPress backend. Um, posts I've tied into your product management. So this is really products. And you can see here it says the price. Is it taxable? Um, how many you have in stock? I've turned it to unlimited. Um, and basically, let's say you want to edit the sweet music uh, shirt. You can just find it in this list of your products. I have also have categories such as kids, men's, shirts. Um, right now all of your shirts are in the shirt category, but if you had them in separate categories, you can even select the category that you want to view the products of. So you don't have to look at all, all of the products at once. You can select the category that you want to uh, view the products. So let's go ahead and find Sweet Music. Uh, we'll go to page 2. and it is right here. You simply click on edit and you can see that this is where you edit the product. So you can go sweet music, we can change and put t-shirt or uh, right here and I'll show you how that will change. You can select the category. Right now we have it under shirts. You could select for example men's instead if you like. Um, you can enter a description such as made of cotton fits great. You can enter a description here in the visual editor. And then down here is where you manage the product images. Now I'm going to show you the proper way and it's very important that you do this exactly as I show you. There is a proper way of adding the product images to your website. So what you want to do, let me go ahead and delete this picture for now. So we'll delete the picture that we currently have in there and I want to show you how to add a picture for the product. So now that I've deleted the picture you can see on the website the picture is now gone. The only picture that we have is the, lo the actual screen print and we can also delete that as well. So let me delete that. Click update. So now we have no pictures for sweet music and I'm going to show you how to add pictures back. And it's very important again to do it exactly as I explain. And you can see here the description that we added goes right underneath the title. So made of cotton fits great. This is what we put here in the description. So again you can leave it blank or you can actually put a description in here and the description will go right underneath the title. But now we have no images so let's add that. What you want to do is you want to simply click on browse and you want to go to you want to go to the image the folder that the image is in we'll go to product pictures and we'll pick the image that we want to use so right now is sweet music and then once you have uploaded successfully you you can upload any additional 
uh, pictures that you might have. So for example, we have another suite music. We have the suite music T. So we'll upload that as well. There we go. Now if you have more pictures, you can even add more pictures here. At the bottom, you can put the price. So for example, right now I have $19.99. Now here's something neat. If you want to run a sale, you can select the date that you want to run the sale and what the sale price should be on that date. And once that date, um, once you reach that date, the website on the day of that date will automatically refer to the special price and display the special price on the website. And for that given period of time that you designate, it will um, charge that special price amount. So it's good for having a, a sale that you can preset for a week or a few days. And on the website, it will even have a special highlight that it's on sale. Weight, you can leave weight uh, empty, or if you're going to charge shipping based by weight, you need to put an accurate weight. Is it taxable? Um, you can select yes or no. Um, you can put here the additional char uh, sizes that you have. So, you, for example, if you have triple, you can click add new, put triple, extra large. And any time you make a change, whether it's removing an option or adding an option, you have to click Set Changes. And then Color. You have no color options currently. Right here, we have no color options. But if this came in, for example, black, and then if it came in red, and then click Set Changes, is Apply Stock Limited? If you click Yes, it will show on the website how many you have in stock. By default, I would leave this uh, as default, just leave it blank. That way, you're not displaying any, any uh, stock information on the website, such as how many you have in inventory. Uh, I don't think you have any need to display that. Set custom affiliate URL. If you're selling shirts off another site like Amazon or, or any other website, if you're an affiliate of another clothing company, you can put the link of the product here if it's something being sold on another website. I just set that up as an extra option for you. Once you make the changes, you simply go up here, click Update. And once you click Update, the changes will take effect. So if we go back here and hit Refresh, if we go back here and refresh the page, you'll see that now we have everything changed. Um, we have the color option, black or red. We have the pictures. I have them in reverse order. We have the screen print on top, and then we have the shirt down here. Now, if you want to change the order of this, it's very simple. Just go back, and what you can do is, for example, you can take this. You can take this right here and simply paste it near the top. You can reverse the order of images if you like. So we're going to put the t-shirt back on top and the screen print back on the bottom. So let's go ahead and click update. And now you can see if we click refresh. Now you'll see that the pictures have been reversed. So you can see it's very easy um, and again, because I have this multiple times, it's showing the same. So what we can do is delete this so it doesn't repeat showing it. So you can see if you have multiple pictures of a product, it'll show the additional pictures on the bottom. But now that I've deleted that, now we have just one additional picture, which is the close-up. So you can see it's very easy to edit your products. And adding new products is really the same. You just add new product and what you want to do is put the product name put the description here select what category it falls under and then also upload your images for the product very simple to do and then you want to go down set the price set any special sale price if that's um, something that you want to do. You can add these sizes that are available, any color options, 
and then once you enter that information click publish and as soon as you click publish this product the new one that you create will be added on the website in the category that you designate so that's pretty much all there is to it you have manage orders if you click on manage orders it will give you a summary of all of your orders right now you have no orders but as you start getting orders your, all your orders will be displayed it's a good opportunity to kind of have a glance of what your website is doing as far as in shipments and orders manage shipping manage shipping is if you want to charge either flat rate free shipping price based shipping or weight based shipping and then you can set the settings for each one individually right now I have activated free shipping you can activate flat rate shipping and set the amount you want to charge if you so choose manage coupons you can create coupons for example I've created one called garage Xmas it gives a percentage of 15 percent off so when somebody is going through the checkout if they enter in the coupon code, uh, code garage at Christmas they'll get 15 percent off their order so I think I already went over that with you in a previous email but um, again this, e this uh, video was to go over how to manage your pages and how to edit the products on your website uh, if you have further questions please feel free to call or email me thank you